is for starters um, I would suggest for you and it's not it's not set in stone but I would mm -hmm. suggest that you start with a fixed ball you know the fixed ball reel that's the yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, is obviously with a fixed ball, unlike a multiplier, because mm. the line delivery is, is completely different. So, yeah. with a multiplier, you have very, very high revolutions, mm -hmm. the, the spool is turning very, very quickly. With yeah. a, a fixed ball, it's open bail arm, free running line. So, that enables us to use much finer diameter line. Okay, now, of course, braided line. Now, if you use a much finer monofilament line, mm -hmm. single filament, then obviously the, the problems with that are we fish on stones and shingle, it's only got a touch of it. And it parts, you, you're up, down yeah. to like eight pound breaking strain line, yeah. which on a flat calm day you might get away with, mm -hmm. but in, <laughs> obviously today it's yeah. raging outside, <laughs> British conditions, it's not going to work. So what a lot of us found is um, we, there were some fantastic braided lines, which again have come on stream in the last sort of 10 yeah. or 15 yeah. years. Yeah. One in particular we use, which we really favour, is Fireline. Mm -hmm. It's a fused a fuse braid, it's a multi-strand braid. Very, very abrasive resistant. Uh, um, low diameter, not as low diameter. You can get lower diameter braids. Yep. But for us, it, it's sort of in between the two, so it ticks the boxes. So it, if you go too low yep. on a braid, if you go to ultra, ultra thin line, you can then get wind knots. Especially on a day like today, you can get wind knots. It's very, very it's fine. Light. It's too yeah. light and yeah. it's also very limp. So with fire line, it's got a bit more profile to it. So we yep. really like it. It looks more and reacts more like a line, like a mono line. Yep. But obviously it's about so half it's the diameter. Absolutely. So it's about half the diameter. But it is indestructible. So it's fantastic for us. And it lasts. You know, for us, we're fishing, especially on the south coast here, we, we fish we don't fish on sand. Stones. We fish on stones, you know. So I mean, you can get buried up on daylight today. It's incredibly tough line. So that's why a lot of us use a braided line. So it's end up sort of it well, it, it lasts. It casts cool. further for starters because obviously diameter is, is key. When you've yep. got um, a crosswind like we've got, for instance, today, um, if you were casting today, predominantly we have southwesterly winds, that's our prevailing wind. Yep. So um, <laughs> when you have strong crosswinds, um, obviously you get a bow line. So the thicker diameter line that you use, the has more, more of exactly, a, has effect more of an effect. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So what happens is, is we found that you know if we if we can reduce the diameter line, yeah. but without reducing um, the, the usability of the line, so you know it's it's just by going to a thin monofilament line, well that's okay, but, but that brings lots of problems with it. But the braided line, it, it pretty much half the diameter of of the traditional Stop that wind. line that we would normally use. So and tide as well, so less wind catch, less tidal catch, but twice the strength and twice the abrasive resistance so it's yeah, like it ticked all the boxes if you could if you had a, a list of pros and cons of yeah why would i use this line the only negative downside and there is only one is its initial cost which is more expensive but then they'll outweigh it by the amount of breakages that you don't well, have there you go <laughs> you, you you've you already jumped ahead yeah absolutely spot on and so actually if you look at it over a 12-month period it's not it's cheaper because it pays for itself yeah because the, the tackle losses you're spot on is way outweighed by its initial sale cost which isn't sure. mega expensive but it is more expensive considerable so absolutely so once, once people realize that i mean you might you may decide well actually <laughs> armed with all that knowledge i'm going to go for braid anyway yeah. because you will get a lot of benefits for it but i yeah. wouldn't always advise someone it is expensive sure and i wouldn't necessarily advise someone Starting to go straight in with braid yeah. but if you get it, which you obviously do, mm -hmm. and you understand the reasons for it, you may decide. Well, actually, no. Ideal. I'd yeah. like to go. I'd like to go for braid, but we'll, we'll get to that. Sure. I mean, the, the final benefit of braid, as far as I'm concerned, is no stretch. Absolutely. Whereas with yeah. monofill, you strike into a fish, you feel it's like putting an elastic yeah. band. Yeah. With braid, boom, you're straight into the yeah. fish, and I, I mean, love the bite that. indication on it is phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, did you want to? Look about reels. Quick look at reels. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Talk, yeah. talk through some yeah. reels because yeah. that's quite yeah, important. absolutely. As you can see, we've got quite a range of uh, fixed ball. Uh, yeah, it was obviously we said about using fixed balls mm -hmm. uh, on those rods. There, most of us now use yeah. fixed balls. You don't have to. They're, they're the sort of they are. They yeah. are. You know, it's going to give you less hassle. Definitely, I mm -hmm. wouldn't. I, would I wouldn't advise somebody to go into using a multiplier from from scratch now with all the you know the benefits that we get from fixed balls. Yeah. But that's people's choice. We sell a lot of them, and there are people who still like them. But sure. for you, as a as a beginner, a relative Rookie. beginner. I would say look at a fixed ball yep. um, to go with the sort of rod that you're looking at. As you can see, we've got quite a range here. So we're really looking at sort of these two down here, mm -hmm. not this one, obviously. <laughs> but these ones here, most of these are beach fixed balls. We've got quite a range. Yep. Um, obviously, they start off really cheaply, so you can get cheap fixed balls sure. with a line on, 22 That's quid. Good. That's very cheap. I wouldn't wow. 
suggest we look at that. I'll get one out no. in a minute. You can have a look at it. Yeah. And like we did with the rods, I mean, I wouldn't even suggest you look at that. Unlike the rods where all of the rods that we looked at for you yeah. are fit for purpose. Sure. I'm saying that's not fit for purpose, but that's a real beginner. That's great for somebody that just wants a beginning reel yeah. to do a bit of macro off the beach. Before, well, absolutely. Yeah. But not really. I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest that sure. with a with a sort of eighty, ninety or hundred pound uh, scope rod. for sort of yeah, it, it, better, it doesn't really yeah. go. Yeah. So sure. once you're looking at once we identify what sort of rods you're looking at price wise yep. then really we should look at reels that, that fit accordingly yeah, otherwise sure. it's a bit imbalanced but we've got a whole range I'll get one out so you can have a look at it and then it like with the rods you can feel the difference yep. and you think oh okay but you haven't got to spend fortunes on, on, on reels to get something that's that's really quite usable mm -hmm. um, so again so these are these are really popular we do the uh, agility Shakespeare agility and we do it in a 70 and an 80 so we do a lot a slightly larger size okay i favor personally the more the, the slightly smaller ones the 70s a bit lighter as well. a bit lighter but not so much the lightness but yeah just the slightly smaller size slightly smaller spot yep um but, but quite a lot of people like the 80s so black rock you've seen them in the obviously the, the um guns. the black rock um oh rod rod yep. yeah yeah uh, so they do a black rock reel again mm -hmm. really nice that comes with two spare spools i'll explain about spare spools in a minute because okay. that's quite important can it can be most yeah. of these do come with spare spools but not all uh we've got yuki uh, fixed ball down the bottom there and then we go up into the top of the range now the difference between well not top of the range but higher price mm -hmm. reels is bear in mind you might be thinking well you know a high price rod is like four five six hundred pounds which yeah. it is but a high price reel for us mm -hmm. is is about 140 130 140 okay. so you may decide well actually i quite like the idea of going for a, a slightly better reel because once you've got one you've got one yeah, yeah. Um, and it and it has got lots of features all right so mm -hmm. these have got lots of features which again i'll explain yep, okay. um, but what i'll do is i'll get two or three reels out on the counter and then we'll talk through sure. benefits and what, what what they have and what they don't have and you can have a feel of them and yep. you can think oh wow you know that one's, that one's yeah you yeah. see what the difference is okay awesome right <laughs> Right, so, bit of a selection. Okay. Right. Right, okay, as you can see, we've got quite a selection yep. um, of reels here. I've got this one out just to show you, uh, not because I necessarily think it's something that you should be interested in, but it is It is a really nice, but this is the lowest price reel that we yep, do. Sure. It comes supplied with line already on. This is for the guy that comes in that has either broken his own reel or he just wants something to get him going yeah it's absolutely fine i mean again it's made by the same company as black rock actually mm -hmm. um really nice bit of kit but have a feel of it because i want you to feel just um so you'll feel that i mean it's, it feels it's 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 pretty basic yep. it's, yeah it's yeah, fine yeah. okay that's similar to ones i use absolutely it will um, it will be so that's a low like that. price one so that's yeah, sure. it, it's always good to know the range and then you, you start yeah, to yeah. see like with the rods you start to go up through the range and think oh okay i can see the difference between x y and z yeah so then we move on to this one this is a nice bit of kit again for, for the money this is i think 40 pence the only the only downside with this is it's, it has one spot yeah, no, now no, for yeah. most people that's absolutely fine yeah um if you were looking at say um that's not a lot of specific already feeding. absolutely yeah. Yeah. yeah so i mean there's a difference of i mean yes it was, it's almost yeah. twice the price but you can feel the difference yeah. big difference. that's quite interesting if you do that because i'm going to show you a different feature on the reel so if you wind the handle give it a good clump sorry if you, no. if you give it a good clump over that's it you see it's got an automatic yeah. alarm I'll explain the difference between the reels in a minute, actually. Okay. Um, because that's got an automatic bow alarm, which yep. is is good, but actually sometimes it can trip you up, and I'll explain oh, okay. why with the features that we've got on some of the other reels. Sure. Okay. So that's a, that's a silver star one, single spool, really nice. Again, that would go ideally with the sort of eighty yeah. to two hundred pound. So that that would be fine. Stuff, that would yeah. be the, the the lowest I'd want to go, and that would be absolutely adequate and mm -hmm. fit for purpose, no problem at all. Then we've got this one here, which is very similar, very smooth again. This one does come with a spare spool, which is quite useful. We do this one, this isn't a 70 size, remember I said about the smaller yeah. one. We also do it in an 80 size as well, which is bigger. Okay, so I'm yeah, showing you. Feel that. That's, that's smooth. Even smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yes, there's not a lot of uh, difference in the weight. No, no, it's not similar. really about weight. You'll find this one here is heavier. 
Um, actually, some of them get lighter, some of them get heavier. This one in particular, but it's it's got a lot of good features, which we'll explore. we'll get to in a minute. So there's that one. That one comes with a spare spool. So that comes with a, uh, as you can see, that's a metal spool, and it also yeah. comes with a spare graphite spool. Okay. Okay, which is uh, like a plastic. Yeah. It's not, yeah, it's not yeah. plastic. Why, why do you have that? Is it so you can have two well, different spools? Yeah, absolutely. Well, well, all or two of the same. Um, and so what a lot of us do, you know, back in the day we used to, you know, if you used to multiply it, you used mm -hmm. to have to carry for like two, three, four reels. With you. So yeah. if you had a disaster with one and you got hooked up or an over one, you just took it off, and changed the reel. Just change your reel off. The beauty of these is you have spare spools. Yeah. So a lot of us, if we if we do now, and um, we use, um, we'll take two reels. Yeah. Quite often the same, and then you have spare spools. Mm -hmm. So that means, cool. and what we quite often do is have yeah. either them uh, loaded up with braid. Yeah. So if you do get a snap off, which isn't that often, but if you do, if you're fishing a bit of rough, it's not normally when you cast it. It's normally to get hung up. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can literally yeah, just take the spool off, put a new one on. It's it's loaded. Oh, okay. It's got shock leader on, taper shock leader, which I'll explain them in a minute yeah. about taper shock leader. Um, yeah, yeah. Off you go, yeah. and, you, and you're good oh, to go. Sorted. Yeah, so it's really brilliant. So, saving on that time. Much, much quicker. Yeah, and also the amount of stuff you have to carry. So, back in the day, if you were fishing a match, you'd have to carry like four oh, multiplier reels. reels you yeah, know? And yeah. the hope that you didn't have a couple of disasters yeah. casting, which were down to two, and you were you yeah. were struggling. Whereas now, you have two fixed balls, you're using one. Very rarely do you get a problem. If you do, you just you know, just yeah. pop the yeah. off and oh, pop a new one on. So having spare sp spools is is quite um, it's quite useful, mm -hmm. um, but it's not the be all then. We'll say you're, we're talking pleasure fishing, yes. All right, yeah, and yeah. how often are you gonna? And if you do snap off, the beauty of say for argument's sake, you went with a, a, a single spool reel. Mm -hmm. The beauty of it, if you use, and, and you did go down the road of using braid, yes. um, the beauty of it is, is if you do snap off, mm -hmm. um, generally you only snap off on the shock leader. Okay. So all you got to do is retie another shock leader. Yeah. You yeah. don't lose the braid. It's another, you know, um, positive reason for using braid over the model. Yeah, and it tends to if you do get a snap off, it will go at the knot. Yeah. So it will go at the knot between the shock leader, the table shock leader. So again, all you have to do once you learn how to do it is just tie another shock leader. You always carry spare shock leaders. Tie a new shock leader and off you go. So if you did only have one spool, one reel, one spool, not the end of the world. Well, the, the end of the world yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You're not, as long as you're not going to lose all your line, which you shouldn't do. Um, you, if you only ever lose your shot, you just tie a new one on. Oh, okay. Good to go. So cool. it's not. So again, it's that shouldn't discount you from thinking about real like that. No, no. Because that's how you can use it positively. Yep. So. What about the um, metal spool and graphite spool? I know some of the, the real companies give you a metal spool and a graphite spool. What's they do. The, I mean, some of the lower price ones. So, so yeah. to be fair. Um, once you get up to the higher price reels, yeah. they're all they're all metal. They're all metal. They're all metal. So I mean, they're also a bit more robust, but more yeah. tough. So yeah, they all tend to be metal. Yeah, but the there's, no, there's no benefit that say the graphite one would be for good for monofill and the metal would be good for braid. It would. Yeah. Normally you would use the, I mean you could put braid yeah. on the graphite one, yeah. um, but it's not, I mean it is, it's basically it's, it's, a, it's giving you a spare spool but, yeah. but keeping it cost down. Yes. Right, yeah, so yeah. that's what, again what, you, what you get with your money. Yeah, exactly. So it's not ideal. I mean generally for people who are sort of buying that sort of size reel or that price reel, sure. they, will, they may use braid on one, they're not going to run to braid on two. Generally no. people are going to have two spools filled with braid. Yeah. Really serious, and you would normally do that on a, on a high price mm -hmm. reel. So what some people would do is they would have a spare spool, like you quite rightly say, and they would maybe have the spare spool filled with monofilament. Now a good quality monofilament yep. with a standard shock leader. One may be filled, but I mean you put mono on both of them anyway, it doesn't matter. Just but if you did have one with braid, you could have one with braid. Exactly, and an emergency one just in like case space disaster out. happens, or you've got a big wind knot, you couldn't get it out, you yep. just take it off, don't stop your fishing, switch over to your mono. Um, also as well, is if you've only got one uh, reel, mm -hmm. um, we quite often, you know, in the summer, we're all anglers, we like to often go and do a bit of mackerel off the beach. Yeah. Yeah. When you've got to go mackerel in, you don't use your braided line, no. right? your high spec line, you don't need to. Likewise, I wouldn't gonna necessarily, I'd take any old rod for mackerel in. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm, yeah, if you've I only got one reel, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But also, why would you use your high spec gear exactly. for mackerel in? Yeah. You don't need any bite indication. So again, if you've got a spare spool rod with mono on it, don't need braided line, Oh, on you go, cheap, yeah. cheap, cheap spool of line, and and, and get a couple of mackerel. Yeah, yeah really, exactly. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah. The, the only thing I used to do quite a lot is is when I was pendulum casting, I go and practice my pendulum cast with mackerel feathers on. 
So, yeah. so, so you're practicing your cast, but you've also got the chance yeah. of picking up some mackerel, and yeah. you're not just ca well, casting a bare yeah. lead. So you've had got the drag of the feathers and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, so, definitely. Yeah, I mean, that's so, why I do a lot of uh, practice casting, yeah. same as, but yeah. I'd say, well, almost 100% actually, my casting's done down the beach, mm -hmm. yeah. as it was yesterday. Yeah. So my casting's done down the beach, it's the same applies, yeah. it's a good place to do it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. like yesterday, Real you know, yeah, I mean, you're fishing, you're, you're, you're casting with shelving beach behind you, so yeah. it comes up behind, it's almost like fishing with a little brick wall behind you. Yeah, really. yeah. It's quite unnerving, but actually once you get used to it, you get used to casting. That's 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 real world casting yeah. Yeah. practice, as opposed to going down a flat bit. Um, Field yeah. where you know you've got nothing, you, can, and you don't know how low your lead's coming, which is great until you then transfer that yeah. onto a beach, yeah. and then you suddenly bang, you're hitting the beach every time. Yeah. You're, what am I doing wrong here? So, I would like you yeah. practice on the beach, it's yeah. a good place to practice mm -hmm. because that's that's, that's going to you know, give you the, the, the same. And, and you don't get the idiots walking the dog going, catching anything when you fish <laughs> on a <the> field. <laughs> <laughs> or, or what you might do though, if you go practice casting in the winter with mackerel feathers on, yeah. you'll always get the smart one and say, you won't get mackerel this time of year, mate. <laughs> hey, I, I went down, I went down, rabbits. Some, yeah. some years ago, I went down the beach in Seaford in March, practicing my pendulum cast, and I had some feathers on, just for a bit of drag, and the first cast, I thought, I've got, I've got something on here, I've got a mackerel on. No. Yeah, in March. in March. Well, there you go. There's a sign of changing time. Yeah. Well, no, no, this was this was some time ago. This was oh, some time ago, but it was gone. What? Yeah. yeah it was. It was flat calm. I know. No, it no, shouldn't be there. It was obviously lost. So the next step on yep. from we've seen those, we now we're starting to jump up a little bit, all right, in price wise. And we've got this one. This is a black rock. Um, I think yes, yeah, black rock. It's a bit of a jump in price. This comes with two spare balls as well. So three in total. Okay, uh, two, I think it's three metal spools in total. Uh, very, very smooth of the kit. That's it. So this is a lot more. Uh, yeah, you, now you wind that. Very light, very smooth, oh, yeah. you know, very oh. nice. Yeah. And, and I like wow. that, how slow the, the slow oscillation. The oscillation. That's right. And what that really what that controlled. means is, yeah. What it means is, is the it, the slow oscillation. It's a good point to pick up on. Is is the speed that the spool travels up and down on the spindle. Yeah. That's what your oscillation is. So it's what that means is. There's quite a lot of movement is, there as well, isn't there? But that, if, that if goes... yeah, if you but if it's a slow oscillation, uh, what that does it gives you a very very fine line lay. Uh, which is great for casting. It's not, it's not crisscrossing all your yeah. lines. So up, down, up, down, up. I suppose crisscrossing. that's less likely. Yeah. To get. Well, no. What it does, it, it means when, when you're casting, it peels off easier. It's not, it's not sort of oh, dragging across okay. the spool. Yep, yep. So it's, it gives oh, you a much, much smoother. smoother, yeah, finer cast. Yeah, that is. And you'll that notice the, the, the spools as well are slightly angled, tapered. slightly cone tapered yep. spool, which I prefer. Um, they don't have to be. I mean, some people like the standard ones. I, I yeah. quite like the. Um, the, the cone spool. So yeah, that's a black rock You can 100% tell yeah. the difference between right. something like yeah, that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be quite honest, 90 quid for that is still it's it's not, not bad. expensive. It's not, no, not bad. It's, it's not, not really. expensive it's at all. And then when you think what you pay for multipliers. Exactly. Well, that's yeah. the thing. That's what I say. So bear in mind, that's why it might be worth considering. Yeah. Whatever you pay for a rod, you might want to think, well, factor actually, that. I'll actually, yeah, factor that in. Yeah. So we'll, um, I'll pay a bit more of the same yeah. for, for a reel. And actually, you're, you're getting... Well, I use this one. I definitely want something that's, you know, I can... I can grow forward with, so yeah. maybe having something that's a little bit up more upmarket yeah. would be better. Yeah, and I um, think as well. You know, you it know, isn't too hard to use. No, and the thing is as well, they're not hard to use. I mean, they all work exactly the same yeah, way. Yeah. But as you, as you, you know, it's not, it's not like the, the higher price ones are harder to use, um, which was the case perhaps with multipliers, which are running faster and you had to really yeah. tune them. These aren't, I mean, because it's open bow line. So what you get is you get better features which actually make them easier to use okay so that's what you do get. Oh, you get you know yeah so yeah. It, 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 they're not harder they're, they're better one of the features that i picked up on on this particular one so let's, mm -hmm. let's have a look at this one right this is slightly heavier the reason it's heavier it's got, it's got solid metal body yeah all right it's a, it's a real heavy piece of kit, but very very smooth i actually mm -hmm. use one of these myself i've got two of these they're lovely bit of kit. they've got some cracking features which i'll explain through in a minute but you just have a feel of that one, and then you know we're talking very, very smooth, yeah. very, very nice. Oh, it is considerably heavier, it, isn't it? It's yeah, heavier, it's, but very smooth. Wow. It's solid. It's a pen. Yeah. Very robust. A good all-round reel. Um, 
As I say, and that looks as though it's even yeah, yeah, yeah. slower oscillation it still. Is. It's yeah. got very slow oscillation on that one. Yeah, um, that's what I'm saying. Very, very smooth. Now you'll notice one of the things you may or may not have noticed is that's got a slightly unusual spool on it. Uh, you'll notice it's a very shallow spool. Okay. Now I'll explain what that's about. That's why we like these reels as well. So when we talked about using braided line and it's got this strange band, well, that's actually a rubber band. It's actually called a braid band. So let me just talk through the features. So you felt the reel. Yep. It's very smooth, 14 bearings, it should be, okay, so very, very smooth bit of kit. But it's also got some really nice features which I like. On here it says HT100 drag system. Yep. What that is, is that's a that's a patented drag system that Penn use. They used to use it on their multiplier reels, they now use it on their fixed balls. Okay. What that means is you get it, you get carbon and uh, stainless steel washer drag system, okay. which gives you a very, very smooth and a long progressive range in the drag, mm -hmm. which is excellent. So that means if you're big fish fishing, yep. We get rays off the beaches now. We're starting to see some bigger fish. I had a ray Thursday night. Did you? Well, yeah. There you go. So we now we get we get smooth downs, we get rays, we get bass. So these fish these fish will will tug. So you shouldn't have when you when you're fishing when you're angling, especially with braid, you shouldn't have your drag done up tight. You should have it relatively uh, not, not loose but loosened off so that if a fish needs to take line, it can. Yeah. Because otherwise it'll. it'll Bust your hooks out, yeah. bend your hooks out, so, you know, powerful fish. Mm. Um, so yeah, so um, what you've got is you've got a, a shallow spool here, yep. all right, and it's got a braid band on. So when you, we talked about earlier, putting braid on, mm -hmm. fire line, this reel will take, I know because we've done it many, many times, I've got one myself, is um, it will take 300 metres, the, the braid that we use, the fire line, comes in 300 metres spools. Yep. That will take 300 metres of braid directly onto that spool. You think, well, why do I need that, that, that strange band on there? Well, yeah, if you yeah. put braid directly onto a metal spool, mm -hmm. because it has no stretch, no slip at all, it will slip. So when it comes under pressure, it will actually it will actually slip around the spool. You can't right. even if you tie a knot, it won't it won't bind again. So that's just giving it a little bit more. That will bind. That will not. That will grip to the spool, and then under pressure, it just locks yeah. solid. It cannot slip. So there's a lot of thought gone into these reels. They're obviously yeah. designed, which I always said that when the pens came out. I have to say, they were designed by anglers, people who actually went fishing. Yeah. There's a lot of features here that you just wouldn't think of unless you're an angler. Unless no, so you had that experience. That's of it exactly yeah. right. Now this also comes with a spare. Spool. It doesn't come with a spare braid spool, yeah. it comes with a deep metal spool, yeah. but you can put braid on it. I've put braid on my spare spool. So the, these ones, do they take less braid than, than that? Or do, no, we well, see, the, the, what, what, the, what you would have to do if you wanted to put braid on these, you would have to, we would do it for you, yeah. because there's a system that we use, oh, okay. but we would have to, you would have to back it out mm -hmm. and then put braid on. So what we do is we, we transfer it onto one spool and then reverse it onto the other, right. so that you get the right amount of backing on. We've done it yeah. many times, so it works. Likewise, it does with a spare spool of this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the beauty of this one is you literally, literally, with this, you can just put braid straight onto that. Straight on, a taper yeah. shot that you're straight on, and you're good to go. Oh, so awesome. you're going to mess about trying to figure out. And then, you know, and, and the beauty of braid, by the way, I will just quickly mention it, is we said about, you know, how it pays for itself. Yeah. Now, generally, you know, a, a good mono line, if you, were, if you were fishing regularly, you would normally need to change it every couple of months, really. Oh, okay. You should do, you know, if you're fishing regularly. Mm -hmm. Because um, obviously you get a dink in it, etc. It could just part, and yeah. that, that costs you a lot. Right? Yeah, yeah. Beauty of this braid, you don't lose weight again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Yeah, that, that's really you know, that's when your that's when your costs start to spiral. Yeah. So the beauty of braid is you don't have to do that. As I say, it's, it's it's pretty much indestructible. It lasts such a long time. Yeah. But what we can do with braid that you cannot do in mono is after about eighteen months you reverse it. Yeah, yeah. You can reverse it onto another spool. And it's a most of it's the best wheel in the world. I can cast a fair way, but you know, 300 meters, I don't think so. 150 meters on a good day, yeah. Okay, so 300 meters, you reverse it onto a spool, yeah, and you're good to go. So then, then you basically, so instead of changing it after 18 months, you can get like three years out of the same spool, which is crazy amounts, you know. It's, so then, like we said, exactly. So with the, even the cost, the initial setup cost, even when you look at that, over long period. It's it's actually yeah, much cheaper, yeah. um, but anyway. So. I, mean, I, I mean, I found with monofill that the sun, sunlight will deteriorate it and it'll become brittle after a while. Yeah. But I've had braid on reels yeah. on the boat for years yeah. and it's faded. It's faded almost white, yes. but it's still as strong. Yeah, it's mm. amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's really it is. So it's good stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, we, you yeah. know, it's brilliant. I mean, it, it ticks all the boxes for what we, if we, as I say, if we could describe the best line that we would ever 
ever use, which would be low diameter, indestructible, high stretch, reusable, reversible. I mean, it ticks all the boxes. You think, yeah. okay, well, why wouldn't I use it? You know. Um, so we've done the um, uh, top drag. Well, it's got a very long drag. We've done the slow oscillation on this particular one. We've done the braid sport. Now, remember when you round that handle, yeah. it, it jumped over. This one won't. All right. Okay. So this is a manual bail arm. Some yeah. would say, well, that's not good. Well, it is. It's very good. When we get into power casting, yeah. one of the only problems that you can have with a fixed ball is a bail arm coming over and it's because of the shock the, of the cast. Yeah. When we're really hitting the power stroke, it can throw the bail arm over. Right. Not all the time, but it can happen, yeah. certainly on cheaper reels. The beauty of this is Plus also it's locked. You knocked that the arm in the yeah. car, it could. It could, but could when you're casting it. this, because this doesn't automatically, it can't. Even if even if that moves, it's not going to flip over during the cast. You see, whereas a normal reel, if it moves during the cast, it would activate the automatic. So what we do that is a manual bail arm, which is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Well, I've never had mine come over in the cast, you know, and I say when well, I'm off the ground casting yeah. or pendulum casting, it never ever comes over in the cast, which is brilliant. So it gives you a lot of confidence in yeah. when you're casting. So I you said, can, that's, yeah, that's somebody works. that's designed by somebody that's had that problem. Again, designed by someone who's obviously an angler, who's been angling and, yep. pro and, and engaged, which is really good. And the other silly little thing, which I love, again, about this one is, with a lot of the, the reels, and it's not a major problem, when you have to fold the bail arm, yep. uh, uh, sorry, not the bail arm, oh, the, the handle, yep. okay, you undo this side on, on a lot of these, uh, and the spindle comes out, and then you fold the bail arm in, yep. which is all right, if you uh, if I had a pound for every customer that came in and said I've lost the bit off the bottom, <laughs> off that side, yeah, have you got one? And we have to get a spare yeah. piece, yeah. which is okay, but it's very frustrating. It's annoying. Yeah. The beauty of this is you don't do that. So when you finish fishing, you literally hold the rotor, grab it, and just wind it back towards you, and it folds in, and it's as quick as that. You know, and that's it. And that goes. They st stow that away. Give it a yeah, clean yeah. up and get home. Good Very to go. Great. And then when you go to fishing, you literally just hold, hold the rotor yep. to stop it winding. Get to there. Give it once it locks. Just give it half a turn. And that's locked in place. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. a lot of reels in the olden days were like that. They were. And then they right. changed. And they over changed these, to yeah. this. But I love this. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. when I finish fishing. If I'm in yeah. a competition, we're always a bit tight for time at the end of a comp yeah. and get back to weigh in. It's silly little things. You're not yeah. with cold fingers trying to yeah. undo that. It's absolutely brilliant. And just get round to there, hold oh, it, deal. wind it back was yeah. one, two, three, four, bang. I mean, oh, and I mean, I mean, I find it's the other way around. When I'm set up in the, when I first yeah. set up, is, is I forget to do that, and then yeah. you go to cast and you. Oh. Handles flopping around, <laughs> and you then got to mess around holding the rod. While you're... <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So look at that. What's that? Are you open lighthouse today? No, no, the other day. Um, oh, that, wow. and Dennis, Storm Dennis. Oh, wow. That was last, last week. Yeah, yeah last, last week. weekend. Well, it, yeah, yeah, unbelievable. He took. <laughs> That oh, band off. You oh, know, right. It was a band that you but put on afterwards. So he managed to get that. I don't even know. He managed to get that off. He yeah, managed to take the band finger. off and then put his braid on. Uh, yeah. You know something? When I saw the reel put on the side, that's what I thought it was. Did you? There you go. Mm. There and you go. I would have. Luckily, I would have been ringing you up. Yeah. Glenn, so I can't get this. To the, braid end. Band. the end of the knot, yeah? Yeah, yeah so that's where, 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 you put, where you put the braid directly on the spot. <laughs> yeah. If you were to put you, it on, you bet. Um, oh, yeah. Um, what we've. Uh, 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 yeah, John Harris. Yeah, yeah John Harris. So yeah. 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 remember that. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes under tension, it just yeah. grips to that yeah. braid. Bang. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember that because he failed, didn't he? He didn't manage to do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought That's they didn't. I thought they didn't done it. Yeah, oh, right. clever and simple. Really, really, yeah. really, really, yeah. really simple. Yeah. Really clever. Shorten it out in the morning. Uh, it's yeah. like having yeah. an extra break. Yeah. They, they want like you to stop halfway and then start the break. break. So it's an extra. No way. Yeah. Yeah. No, not really. It's purely about because of the break. Yeah. Because we're using that as a break spot. It's purely about if you. Because I think I seem to remember it. We didn't. It failed on television or something. No, we did it. Oh, really? yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. really going to, because yeah. they are obviously yeah, so fighting fish up the from a deck. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'd have come in so much more. Zip my wheels. Too long. Yeah. Bought yeah. It. It's not winding in. So what what, what do you mean? And he said, well, Terry under did. pressure, it's like slipping. And, the gears are slipping. Well, that's there was not no good. English Let's have a look. So you do that and you realise, you're thinking, hang on a minute, why didn't you? The whole of the braid was slipping around the spool because it had worked its way down. Yeah, yeah. And those right. So back in the day, we had to put backing on wheels. Monofilament backing would be another 
it's got because it's got spec. Right. Not a yeah. problem. Right. It's just and that frame has got zero stretch. Of course, they've negated that by putting this rubber band around. So it just grips to that. Yeah, tractor unit. It doesn't stick. So under pressure, you're fighting a rail off the beach or a bass or something, and it's pulling. It's not going to. It's just got to lock up tight on the sport and then pay off under the under the. But we actually done it. Yeah. I, I remember that, I do remember yeah. it, and I remember John, I used to remember John, yeah, it's quite clever. Yeah, you know, I yeah, used to buy my stuff in there when John was running the show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.